Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Rayford and I'm here to tell you something good. What I'm going to share with you today is there is a direct correlation between the slave trade and Wall Street, if you did not know. So my name is Michael Rayford again. I am a financial educator with War System Builder. I'm also the host of Word for Word. So first of all, um, as I continue my journey on learning how money works and becoming more financially literate, I've been diving into the stock market more and investing more. And this is what I found. So first of all, I want to say thank you to Sherman Jenkins. I want to say thank you to the Tell Me Something Good family for giving me the opportunity to share with you four word for word, did you know facts. So first of all, before New York was New York as we know it, it was considered by the Dutch as New Amsterdam. So at that time, they brought in slaves from Africa to enlist them for slave labor to actually build up the city and really get to know what it is as we know today as Wall Street. But it's also considered, if you didn't know, the heart of one of the biggest financial districts in the world, if you will. Number two, now, unlike the South where slave trade was more considered plantation work, plantation life, um, when they enlisted slave labor in New York, it was more about building infrastructure. So the slaves were used to, because you have to remember back in the 19th century, New York was, or New Amsterdam was, land, trees, there was no buildings, if you will, there were no structures. So the slaves were brought into clear forests, they were brought into build roads, they were brought into build up the harbor to help the city with the slave trade uh, situation as, as we know it, as history presented to us today. Now, number three is pretty interesting because even though slavery was ended legally in 1827, Merchants and bankers still found themselves tied to slave trade commodities. So when we talk about slave trade commodities, we're talking about the sugar industry. We're talking about the cotton industry. We're talking about fine goods. And so as you di dive deeper into the history of New York and the slave trade, you'll find that there were companies that were established that are the foundation of a lot of companies that we know today. So make sure that you do your own, on your own research because you'll be shocked at some of these major corporations that we know of today were actually birthed from slave trade, if you will. And then last but not least, so New York was the last state to end slavery. However, there was only one other state or one other city that had more slaves than New York City, and that was Charleston, South Carolina. So this has been, and it is Black History Month, so this has been, you know, your Black History Month facts presented by Word for Word, and yours truly, Michael Rayford. Uh, this is uh, exactly why we need to, as a community, you know, work harder to become engaged in financial education, financial literacy. We need to get more engaged in building wealth, in investing, in creating generational wealth, because... As I just stated, just by four facts, our, found, our founding fathers, our ancestors helped build what we know as know of today as the largest financial district in the world. And I'm going to leave you with this final thought. You will not be free until you are financially free. My name is Michael Rayford, and I will see you next month.